Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back. We are, as always, Boat Club. And with you, it's the man known by some as Johnny Yachtsville. It's John Gallagher. Hello. Tommy Tugboat himself, Tom Pullen. Hello. And Joey Catamaran, it's me, Joe. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 If you're wondering, yes, Tom has given us nicknames. Yes, we have a group chat. No, you're not invited. Well, if you want to... There's a, there's a sign-up sheet. Yeah. <laughs> but there is a waiting list as well. Yeah. Um, and you have to wait for one of us to die. So six months' time, you can take my place. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? Dark start to the episode. Okay. <laughs> and 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 cut to executive producer um, credit, and then just roll from there. And then, we're, then we're all good. Yeah. Yes, that was a Sopranos reference. Yeah. In 2020, making Sopranos references. It's a well known fact. What I was seeing there was "Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. <laughs> good lord. Um, okay. So, Joe. What what do we do on these shows? Tell me. Improv. Hey John, what's improv? Um, you know, it's a journey. It's a journey between Okay, what is it in a literal sense? All right, it's three friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what you're having today is three friends. That's what you get it. <laughs> We promise nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if we say it's three friends, it means that people won't think, you know, the, the high quality aspect of it, uh, it, it, it can come and go. Yeah. It can come and go. It can, it can, it can come go. and go. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. All the time, <laughs> we're friends. You know one thing that will never go? Friendship. Friendship. Well, everybody, I think we've learned a lot today. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Do we want to use any of this? Or do we want to start again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're definitely using this. Oh yeah. Let's just let's just get let's just get two words. Let's let's get two words. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll start doing some improvised sketches. Some sketches right. um, and they're all improvised. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. It'll all be very good because we're three friends and we like each other. So at least we've got that going for us. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh the the i've got i've got a word okay oh good uh, the, <laughs> the first word the first word is licensed licensed mm -hmm. and, and tom what? do you have a word charger licensed and charger licensed and charger okay mm -hmm. All so right. we'll, we will count down two, three, and then on three, we will shout Boat Club. And then <laughs> we will take you to a world of fun as heck scenes. <laughs> All right. In three, three two, two, two one. one. Boat, Boat Club. Club. <laughs> Um, we open we, we open on a on a car uh, on a motorway and we have a police car just behind it uh, and we see a police police officer walk towards the car and there's two there's two people in the in the front car. Uh, can you put your window down, please? What seems to be the problem, officer? Do you know how fast you were going? Um, no, the it's saying zero at the moment, so I don't know. You? You being funny with me, boy? No, he's not. He's not, sir. No. I I can make be very honest. I'm not funny. I'm just good friends. Let me just let me just 
ask your friend, the, the one in the passenger seat. He is second. my friend. I can confirm that. Is this... Hi. Is your friend is your friend fucking with me because he's he's trying to he's trying to give me the he's trying to give me some some comedy, uh, and yeah. I don't really appreciate the squeaky squeaky yeah. noises when yeah. he's putting down his window as well. Yeah, he um, so he's a he's an amateur comedian. He does he does open mic nights, and he's he's trying to you know he's 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 just trying his best to to make you know make the world laugh. Is this is this true? You're a stand up comedian. Um. Well. I'm, it's not my full time job. Uh, I'm actually. No, it won't I, be. I, I'm ahead of a TFI Gry days. Um, all right, all right. Let me let me but get. I do want to be one. Yes. Have you got Have you got any uh, Have you got any um, uh, Have you got any papers? Have you Have you got any stand up posters or anything that you're um, doing? Uh, actually, in, yeah, I've got some uh, flyers here. Yeah, for a show I'm doing later. It's all right, uh, let me see this. It's a free show, but um, it's it's pretty funny. It's um. But it, it's got a bit of a twist. You see, it's 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 actually about uh, it's, it's about the breakup of my relationship and how it relates to my father. But it's really funny. All right, I'm going to ask you to get out of the car, please. Okay, get sure. Yeah. Can I stay in the car? Or <laughs> yeah, you, you you can you uh you can stay in the car for now. Okay, all right. All right, I'm just going to get you to stand up here. Um, if you uh, want yeah. to just just stand just stand opposite me here on the road. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right, now um. Do you mind? Uh, have, you, have you heard of the the walking in a straight line test that we do with drunk drivers? Oh, I'm aware of it. Yes. Right. So you probably. I've, I've got some great material on it, actually. All right. Well, let's let. Well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Let's hear it. Let's hear some of your material. Okay. Um. Just a sec. <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. So, um, who here? Uh, who here? Um, has done that? You know that. That. Uh. That walk in a straight line test, you know, the one the police officers make you do? Anyone Classic. here done it? This is, this is a grid one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got a fan in the audience. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you know that test? Like, I mean, could you imagine if you're a trapeze artist doing it? <clears throat> and you were just there, just like. Oh! <laughs> It'd be so easy because it's like your job. It's All like right, I'm gonna, job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop but, you there for a second. I'm gonna stop you there for a second. Uh, uh, yeah. st Stand-up comedian. Uh, at the moment, you are failing this test. You're, are you Wait, sure you're a stand-up comedian and not a, a not a sketch writer? I tried writing sketch, but I didn't feel like there was enough room to insert the real emotional material. You have to wait till the end of the bit to really okay. get. It. Fine. So it's like, yeah, you're walking along. It's like you're a trapeze artist. And my father was a trapeze artist and he died. Um, and I really feel like that's when my relationship ended. Wow. But hey, at least he wasn't a cop. Am I right? Ha <laughs> ha! Tip your waiters. <laughs> that's the entire show. That's it. That's the entire thing. It's a work in progress. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love any feedback you could give me. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I've got some feedback. If you want to just turn around for a sec. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. All right, there you go. Some handcuffs. Oh. Just put behind your, behind your, behind your body there, because that's oh, where yeah. the handcuffs go. Well, I mean, like, yeah, this is great. I was gonna ask you for a cover fee for the thing, but these must be worth at least five pounds. Uh. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh. So if you just want to come with me, just go up to your bonnet and put your head down. Okay, sure, yeah. Is there a problem with the bonnet? Uh, no, it's more just so that you can put your face down on your bo on the car bonnet. You know what? It is a hot day and it's a cool bonnet. I'll, yeah, seems like a nice plan. All right, cool. I'm just going to search you, all right? Cause, uh, all I'm, right. You're, <laughs> you okay with all this? Yeah, yeah. All right. I, um, at this point, uh, my character gets out of the car. Uh, officer, what's what's going what's going on here? He just did he just did that really good bit with the emotional bit at the end about his father. Did you not get it, or was it just uh, uh, the, working on it? The the officer puts one hand next to his uh, handgun uh, and he says, "All right, oh, yeah. all right, guys. Uh, after hearing your stand up set, uh, I am in the belief that you guys aren't actually real comedians at all, uh, and you're actually." no good joke stealing sketch writers and not 
artful stand-up comedians. So I might be booking you in if I feel like Wait, it. Wait, I've got my first booking. <laughs> edit, 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 edit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, um, has anyone got a uh, a charger for a uh, a Nokia fifty two ten? Just, uh, I've I've got a thirty three ten. Does it does it fit? I don't. No, no. It's just I'm, I've got this really good run of snake going, and um, I feel like I, I re- like, and, and it's it's like low, it's really low battery. It's like you know the bit where it flashes. So I've got at least you know two hours left until until it's going to run out of charge. So I need to, I need to get it on here pretty quick, actually. So if anyone, has anyone got, uh, anyone? What's a Nokia? So it's a, it's like a phone, you know, like a mobile phone. A what? <laughs> you know, like a, like a phone you can like carry around, you know? You mean like a tablet? No, like this, this is one that can make calls and you can play like snake on it. You mean like a smart phone? Uh, uh, no, this is like a, um, wait, what's a, what's a smartphone? Smartphone is what we do to communicate with, man. What are you talking about? This is, this is the newest model. This is what? Snake 2. Sna- what's a snake, dude? This is, this is, this is the second, this is the sequel to popular video, ah, oh, I just, Oh, I accidentally bit the side of my... Oh, I died. This is... So yes, Snake 2, have you not played it before? Are you from, like, a... Are you, like, from Georgia or the Ukraine or something, man? Because this... The, this is old technology. <laughs> old technology? What, what are you talking about? Um, I mean... Hello, welcome to 1998. Uh, can you... Can you hear me? What's I don't understand why you can't What's he talking about? What, do you know what, this guy? What what year do you think this is? It's 1998. The Spice Girls are top of the pops and uh I've I've got my blonde my blonde tips. I don't know what's What are you talking? Oh my what? god, let let me see that newspaper, man. Here you go. It worked. Oh, it worked, <laughs> Marty. <laughs> my God, what? we're here in the year 1998, having traveled from the year 2018. Doug, what the hell's going on? We time traveled, Marty. Oh. <laughs> I threw up apparently. <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, you're coming over. Oh, oh, that's totally not wicked, dude. Don't worry. I'll use my futuristic technology for the year 2018 to clean you up. Oh, my God. It's like a vacuum. It looks like an animal. Oh, my. Whoa. Wow. Doc, what, what, what do we have to do in 1998? Why this year? Well, it's, it's very important. Someone was about to break the high score for the entire world in Snake 2. Oh, but we, we, this guy? Wait, what score did you got? Uh, I think I was like, you know, like a really high one. Like, I think I was going for the record, you know? Oh, no. We might have caused the end of the world. <laughs> but, Doc, Doc, you're slowly turning into um, Admiral Akbar from oh. Star Wars. It could be Doc Brown, it could be Admiral Akbar, it could be Richard Nixon. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you gotta help me, mister. The, the, the whole going back in time is screwing with his dimension. We, we gotta take you to Marty, a hospital. You've got to travel back to five minutes ago, and you've gotta make sure he gets the high score, or I won't be able to get a decisive character in this scene. Alright, alright. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> Um, he 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 goes into the DeLorean and and goes back five minutes. Hey. Uh, what snake man? Hey, do you like? Does anyone have a charger for this? It's like you know, it's, I'm just getting like I'm getting 
a pretty high score here. And it's, I think I, I can't remember the last time I got a score this high. I'm I'm pretty good at snake. Did you put a charger? It's all. A ch- what? <laughs> 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 Marty, Marty, what? Marty, Marty, you, you gotta, you, you just stop annoying the guy. Stop annoying him. You, you gotta keep going with your snake game, Mister. Okay. Keep going. What? What's a snake? Shut up, me. Me, bleep. Whoa! I got the score nine 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 nine. Bleep. <gasps> it's reset. We we did it! You got the highest score in the world. Oh, I, I did it! It's like two. Oh, but oh no, I'm fading away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> same guys. What what smell is this candle? It's magnificent I I can't I can't quite put my it's like it it smells like youth does that make sense yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) smells like innocence Mm. Smells like Terry. Yes. Wait. Smells like Terry's. He's going upstairs. What? He's he's logging onto his uh, computer. He's going into MSN Messenger. He's just. Oh no! It smells like Terry's just changed his his MSN handle to. I'm not okay. 69. Oh. Uh, I see the thing is I think that um I think that these candles they bring up a lot of things that we did in our youth, you know, Terry. So I think that it's really important that you keep that with you. I mean, I'm smelling something completely different, you know. I'm fi- I'm smelling like, you know, summers spent in the field playing like playing sport and Stuff like that, and I know that obviously Terry, you're experiencing something very different to that. Um, Michael, what about what about you? What are you what are you smelling from the candle? Hmm. Uh, we we cut away, and we uh, <laughs> <laughs> we we cut to we cut to a futuristic police station, and we see like a bunch of cops around this one candle. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, everybody. Inspired by the movie Minority Report, uh, mm. if we, if we can if we can smell the candle here. We'll be able to exactly pinpoint when uh, Derek Generalson is going to be murdered this evening. So, uh, officers, take a whiff and see if he does go up the stairs to log onto his MSN. Pretty much all of these murders are inspired by people going up to their rooms and uh, going on uh, their chat networks. So, tell me what tell me what you think. I'm getting. Wait, I'm getting something. No, it's just winter fruits. Ah, damn it. What about you? Oh, I'm getting something. All right. Oh yeah. Is it okay. murder? It's worse than murder. <laughs> ah, it's <laughs> Dallas. You see that? Wait, that could be something. All right. Maybe the candle's setting off my hay fever. Maybe the murder takes place in the hayfield. <gasps> Quick to the hayfield. <laughs> Cut to hayfield. <laughs> well, I better start unpacking all these daffodils. You're not going to be packing any more daffodils, Barney. Not oh. after what you've done to my wife. <laughs> Oh, oh, stop, stop right there. Huh? My God, are you a cop? I sure am. I'm the best candle cop in the town. 
Yeah. Well, Pretty much. you're not in the town right now, boy. You're in the country. <laughs> oh. oh, bloody hell. <laughs> yeah. My... All right, let's, just, let's we, just think about this. We work on country rules. We got to go to country lawyer place. We cut to country court. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, order, order, order. Oh, bloody hell. Now. <laughs> Detective Johnson, you find yourself charged with trying to try to enforce city law here in the country. How do you play it? Well, I was just doing. I thought I was just doing my job. I didn't. I didn't realise I was. I'd gone in from the city to the country field. So uh, guilty, guilty as guilty. Your honour, your honour. If I may take the stand for only a minute. Hey, I, I want to see this going somewhere, Councillor. Of course, <laughs> of course. Now, the detective here, he's a silly boy who don't understand our types of ways, nor does he understand the implications of country court. Now, say, for example, this was a duck who went in a completely different pond. Surely, surely the same will apply to this young duck inspector who just fell into the old different pond. Maybe instead of giving him the death penalty like we always wanted in tradition, Whoa. we should be giving him a little slap on the wrist and a story t for him to go back to his friends to tell. I prefer that. Your words have moved me, boy. Them some mighty fine words. Ooh. Sadly, them words ain't what we study here on City Car. I mean, Country Car. That's what they do in City Car. Wait. Oh, all right. You got me. I'm, I'm actually a city judge. Uh, <gasps> I've, I've been working undercover to try and bring down the corrupt country court scene. Uh, uh, suddenly, like an other, an old. Uh, judge comes in. Well, uh, well, seeing as you have confessed, uh, and the detective very early on said that he was guilty, uh, we we're just gonna go ahead and take both of you down downtown. Wait a minute, the town's not in the country. <laughs> That's right. We're all from the city. Ah, oh, oh, gentrification's <laughs> a joy. <laughs> J.K. J.K. Uh, hey guys, what if we uh, what if we put a few coffee shops out here? Oh, that'd be nice. Wait, 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 hang on a second. If we're all from the city and the town, then where are all the country folk? Cut, cut to the city. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I say I've never had such a delicious avocado one toast before. I tell you, the truffle oil really brings out those fries. Oh, my, my, my. There's nothing. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay guys so i'd really like to um first of all thank you all for uh coming to my webinar <laughs> on um well i'd like to thank you all for coming to my webinar on how to really feel okay um i know that we've really struggled with how to feel in the past um so i think that today it would be really good. Like, I know that you've all transferred me the money already, which is great. Um, but I think that now would be a great time if we just sort of felt our feelings and we talked about how we felt about our feelings that we were feeling. So, um, Jeffrey, um, I think that, you know, you could start us off. And yeah. then from there, we'll, uh, you know, we'll just go and, you know, then Michael, maybe what you could do is you could try to, feel about his feelings and then obviously once we pass those tests we'll be able to get that license for the uh you know 
the the feeling phantom that we were uh, going for. Uh, yeah, this is well. First of all, before I go, um, I just want to say thank you, our leader, uh, for showing yes. us how to feel. Yes, um, mm. and okay. I, I don't care what the news says. You're not a cult, and we're not crazy. We're yeah. You know, we're just we're trying to understand our feelings, and you know, if it takes making a making a community here in the middle of the desert with nothing yes. but tents uh mm-hmm. you know I, i'll I'm, I'm all up for it anyway I, I, i'm just gonna stop you there for a second um jeffrey yeah. um i just have to correct you it's not our leader it is our glorious leader okay my apologies my anyway apologies. carry on please all right i guess i'll start with um you know doing uh, talking about my feelings just like our glorious leader taught me um uh, today, um, I'm feeling um, happy and sad and very, very, very sad. Happy and sad and very, very, very annoying. I just want to feel all the come inside me and all day long. The glorious leader always wants to kiss me on the forehead when I'm in the shower or I'm sleeping. Let's all go and talk about our feelings and glorious leader is our lord thank you thank you okay so um michael how do you Uh, feel about those feelings that were just felt um i feel like a webinar really um we were promised a brunch how are you going to deliver the brunch over a webinar that's my main feeling so um, if you look around in your tent now, you'll notice that you can um, make something for yourself. And about the, uh, the opportunity to win the car? Michael, I feel like there's a lot of doubts going on here. I don't well, normally I... do, you know, hey. I don't normally do sessions of this size. Um, look, our, so our I glorious like... leader. Yes, yes. I'm not saying that what we're doing here isn't good. I'm just saying there are a lot of physical things intrinsic to the cost of joining this yeah. that I feel like I'm not quite getting by having been told to set up a tent in my garden and watch the internet. When are we gonna when when are we gonna physically see you and and be with you, glorious leader? When do we get to touch your face? Yeah. When do we when do we get to actually have the kiss on the forehead and not have to hear about it? Yeah. Listen, Michael, Jeffrey, they, these are all very good questions and your glorious leader hears them. Um I think it's important to know, obviously, that uh if you become a feeling phantom, and this is obviously why it's so important, if you become a feeling phantom, it means that such as I am you will be able to come to people in the night, you know, in their I, dreams. And that's really important. I, I'm starting to think you're not even a feeling phantom. I'm starting to think you're some kind of some kind of goofy ghost. <sighs> Michael. I am a glorious leader, but I'm not forgiving. I'm afraid today you are not a feeling phantom. If anything, you're a shit spectre. Oh. Yo, you're a poopy poltergeist. Oh. Well, you're a gosh darn no good ghost. Well, you're a well, you're a a, a crappy Casper. And a stupid Slimer. <laughs> Um, I, I'm sorry to I'm sorry to weigh in on this, but what what's are you a ghost? What's going on? What's happening? We're all ghosts. What? We were all born dead. How do you not know this? I, I was I, I was thinking a lot about the song. <laughs> it just oh, that's <laughs> crazy, isn't it? I was putting a lot of effort into my music, and yeah, I mean, yeah. it's really good. I, I love this song. 
What was the what? At what point did you not realize? You, like, whenever you tried to play the piano, your hands went through the keys. What did that not occur to you then? That maybe you would not of this realm. Well, the the thing is, right? I, I I guess I always knew that I was a ghost, but completely forgot because I was so entranced with the with trying to sing and and with this web series it's engaging man you're an engaging you're an engaging do you you not remember when we walked out into the desert to try and find our glorious leader and we got lost in the desert and died only after discovering our glorious leader's skeleton out in the desert where he had also died right yeah Mm. yeah i remember that yeah Yeah. guys you know i've learned something today the power of music is yeah. so so deep and that that's is... why i'm awarding you <gasps> the title of the phantom of the opera <laughs> okay um uh, we, we fade up and we see casino <laughs> we, we see we we hear you know the the casino we see the roulette spinning we see uh people serving and buying drinks and, and we see many people in uh in bow ties and you know you, you see you feel the glitz and the glamour of a casino you see someone sit down at a um at a blackjack table with uh with thick thick stacks he gets oh. dealt a few cards well hello there mister you want to join our little game it would be my pleasure oh okay uh well uh minimum bid is 30 tokens only 30 <laughs> he throws them onto them whoa in a perfect stack as well. Boy, you must be a real pokery do. Sure am. All right. Ace is high. Let's play. So, where are you from, mister? Out of town. Okay. <laughs> um... Before we get started, do you want anything to eat? Mm. Uh, I would like three burritos. We we see that this guy is like one of the fattest men you've ever seen in your life. It's like 400 pounds. Three burritos, two chimichangas, six of your number sevens, eight number fives, 22... Biscuit, biscuit a ruse, and uh, and a, a, a diet coke. I'm trying to watch my figure. We um we cut to the kitchen just as this order's coming. Twenty two biscuit a ruse. <laughs> what the fuck? What even is that? What 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 is what is this like? The is, is this like a huge wedding or something? What? Who else? Oh no. We can't do this in less. We can't do all of this in in, in less than an hour. This is gonna take at least two or two and a half. Oh no! All right, I've right. left the table. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have to combine the number fives and the and the biscaroos together. So uh, you start with them, and and I'll 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 get, I'll get the chimichangas. You see that they're just juggling various ingredients and throwing them into pots. Yeah, Not entirely like... sure what they're doing. Yeah, this is exactly like a game of Overcooked. <laughs> oh no, the rice is burning! Uh, we, we, cut back to the, uh, we cut back to the casino table where the big guy is. So, uh, d- did you want to play poker or were you just here for the food? Mm. Okay, give me some cards. Uh, suddenly, uh, like a really suave-looking, with tuxedo-wearing Englishman walks in and joins the table. Do you mind if I join in? Oh well, certainly, Mister. Uh, minimum bid is thirty tokens. Can't afford it. 
30 tokens. Yes. No problem at all. First day. All right. Well, in that case, let's play poker. <laughs> Say, those are some mighty large stacks. You must be uh, well involved in some sort of activity outside of the casino. I sure am. I like to do my business and I like to do my pleasure all at once. I couldn't quite tell you how I got the money now, because it, it could be for nefarious means. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that I represent an organization that deals with people like you. Tell me, some of your activities involving the food industry? Many of my activities are to do with the food industry. Especially my eating activities. Well, how about we raise the stakes? No pun intended. How about if I Excuse me, I'm just going to stop you for a second there. Could yeah. I order six of your <laughs> of your T-bone steaks, please? We, we come back to the kitchen. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> we come back to the table. We come back to the table. <laughs> how about we? Uh, how about we raise the stakes here? How about if I win this next game, I get a private tour of your food industry. Mm. And what's in it for me? Well, if you win, I leave this. I leave this casino. And you never see me again. Hmm. Would that not happen anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I have a better deal. How about if I win, you take me on a delicious tour of, of, of the nearest chocolate factory? <laughs> So the spy then goes on to lose. <laughs> so, <laughs> the next day, him just uh, rummaging around through the nearest sweet shop, see if he can find that golden ticket. <laughs> I don't. I don't care how you get it. I, I just want to. I just want to go on a tour of the chocolate factory. <laughs> You better go fast, boy. Almost all of the Chonka Chonka bars have been claimed. <laughs> anyway. You know, Chili it's... Chonka's Chocolate Factory. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> let's, let's play cards. <laughs> <laughs> what, here in the Chocolate Chonka? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. wait. I don't, we, we can't. We cut to the kitchen of the chocolate shop. Who wanted what? <laughs> to play cards. Who wanted to play cards? We don't have a roulette table. We don't have cards. We serve chocolate. <laughs> We've got biscuity rules. Does he want them? <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll ask. <laughs> we can ask him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, we cut. We cut to. Uh, we cut to the spy um, in this in this layer, uh, like underneath a volcano, where um, <laughs> the, the 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 big guy's sitting on like a big chair, and and the spy is like handcuffed uh, to a pole or something. Ah, you've uh, you've got me right where you want me. Oh, by the, <laughs> by the way. How does it feel? How does it feel to be in charge of all of the food in the world? To have everybody, to have everybody fear you. It's my job to take you down, big chunk. <laughs> Do you want to know how it feels, Mr. Crumb? It feels delicious. <laughs> He then shoves in a whole biscuity roux in one. You're mad, big chunk. You're mad. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, 
Mr. Crumb, it doesn't take a lot for you to become like me. I remember I was like you once. I was once svelte and sprightly. Whereas now, <laughs> whereas now, you can see the mask I have created for myself. Well, I've got one more trick up my sleeve. You know that Chili Wonka golden ticket bar I've been looking for for four weeks? <laughs> yes. Well, I found it. And Chili Wonka is right behind you. The, the fat man slowly turns around. <laughs> oh, oh, he seems to be stabbed. Oh, he stabbed my fat. Oh. There's no earthly way of knowing. <laughs> 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 while while he's singing this, he starts he starts eating his belly. <laughs> Come with me. Uh, we, we, we cut we cut to the we we cut to the evil henchman uh uh, uh like staff room. He said what? He <laughs> what? Oh my god, we're out of a job. Edit, 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 edit. <laughs> Seriously, guys, does anyone have a charger? Um, Seriously, no one. What? What for? I've got um, I've got I've I've got a couple of chargers here, but they're they're mainly for um, you know, like animals and stuff like that. I don't. I'm on about an electrical charger, not a, not an animal charger. Oh no! See, I've just got so I've got one for the animals. I've got <laughs> one for some flowers here. Um, I've got a water one. Uh, uh, Joe, Joe, come on! You one we we took this trip to the country. Like you, you had to know to bring your charger, right? It's it was obvious. I mean, three three friends going on a trip to the country. I mean, it's nice, but we can't, you know. Oh, right, you, you guys sort this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop to the I'm gonna pop to the toilet. Oh. Okay, so he's gone, right? So while he's distracted thinking about the charger, Sherry's gonna jump out of the cake. Yeah. Yeah. Surprise him. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. He, he he totally thinks the three of us just came out here, and I'm so obsessed with this charger. But no, is uh, is she wearing the police uniform? Oh, <laughs> is she wearing the police? I would assume so. I haven't looked inside the cake. Oh my god! All right, all right. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Oh god! Hey, was... hey, Tom. Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tom, what's up, man? Um, how, could you just go and check over by that that big cake? I think I left my charger there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No. It... Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Um, I think it's kind of, you know, you know what I love, guys. I really like the idea of us three city boys just coming out to the countryside, you know, and uh, just spending spending some time, you know, to get away from it all, you know, like not worrying about charges. Just great. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what's happening with this cake over here. Uh, oh, okay, cake. Um, yeah. A police a, a policewoman jumps up and she's just wearing the full costume, like it's not scandalous or anything like that. Surprise! Ah! Did... What? Why is there a policewoman in the cake? Uh, she, she has a gun and points it at Tom. All right, freeze, scumbag! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? What's... All right, everybody, everybody at the station, smelt a candle, and we all suspect that you guys are all gonna like kill each other in the next two minutes. Ah, uh, right. Um, I just need to ask something. This is a bit of a weird question, but um, are you for, are you a are you the pol are you police from the city? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys are gonna love this. Oh. I've got a great bit of material about city policemen. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's let's go. Oh. Well, uh, well, well. Uh, Y'all seen them, them city boys? 
Oh. The, the police have police have the hair. Well, <laughs> oh. I, I, oh, well, I don't think they come out here. They go oh. get them shoe dirty. Go get yeah. them dirty shoe. Dirty out their shoe. <laughs> They're gonna be walking around going, oh no, my shoe don't clean. I can't oh. sit so fast to dinner party. I'm gonna just, to clean them. Oh, you know what? I just love the idea. Oh, oh, oh. I just love the idea that that a, 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 city, a city police officer thought that we were actually some city folks. <laughs> Uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly, suddenly, Tom slips on a banana skin and like uh, breaks his neck, and then, and then the banana skin hits Joe in the in the mouth and chokes him out. No, my island is not my And then Joe's Joe's microphone that he was using for stand up is flown in the air and uh, stabs John in the top of the head, and he dies instantly. No, Joe Cliven. And the policewoman's just there holding the gun and sees that all three of them are just dead on the floor. Yeah. The candle was right. <laughs> oh, oh, better get out of this cake. <sighs> yeah, hey, boss. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm the candle was right. They, they, all three of them died. No, I'm fine. Yeah, sure. I'll be, I'll come back. Biscuit ruse? Yeah, I'll bring some over. Yeah. All right. See you in a bit. Um. So uh, the policewoman gets in, gets it back into her car where her um partner is a police officer. Partner is waiting for her. So, uh, what happened in there? Well, the candle was right. They said I told them that they were going to kill each other in two minutes, and they just started doing a country stand-up set, and <laughs> they died. <laughs> they, 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 they said exactly what the candle said. Wow, that's, that's crazy. Who, who'd have thought that uh, you know, the Sarge's idea of getting these candles in would have uh, ever taken off? But hey, mm. I guess that's what happens when. Uh, the sergeant's name is John Wick. <laughs> Isn't that right? Huh? That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm doing this stand-up show. <gasps> Are you interested in <laughs> Takes out a gun and starts shaking it at his head. Uh, so uh, so uh, what's the deal with... Uh, the country police officers, am I right? <laughs> Johnny? Johnny, was this an inside job? Did you do this? Where did that banana skin come from? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull over. Suddenly we see a flashback of Johnny earlier in that day planting the banana skin. We go further back. We see Johnny um, going into MSN chat late at night to plant the idea in the police sergeant's head of these candles. We go further back and we see the glorious leader putting the idea into Johnny's head. And we go even further back to see the glorious leader was Marty McFly. <laughs> Stranded in time. That's our show. <laughs> Wow. And who says that you can't get a bunch of sketches and just tie them all together at the end? <laughs> who, who says that? Some, some might say it was very forced, but I say no. Yes. No, 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 no. I say yes. And. <laughs> I say with the power of friendship, anything is possible. You it's mean true. the power of love? Oh, oh, yeah, so that we don't break licensing laws. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've already apparently uh, broken a lot of other copyrights today. <laughs> but luckily, John didn't remember anything from Phantom of the Opera. So, <laughs> didn't lose on that one. Yeah, that one stays. You'll never get us, Lloyd Webber. <laughs> He's been trying for so long. Come at me. No, Joe, don't encourage him. 
Hey, Andrew Lloyd Webber, you want me when all this is over? Any car park. I'll fight you, mate. All right. So uh, I guess that's it from Boat Club. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you want to find me online, you can do so at, at not Joe Ronchka. That's N O T J O E R A C Z K A. You can find John at one boardman, one as in O N E, board as in B O A R D, and man as in man. And you can find Tom at oh, you can find me all over the place at the moment on Instagram. You can find me at Tom Pullen Graham. Ooh. I just posted I posted a, a video of a giraffe the other day on my mandated exercise. It was a good giraffe. And uh, so, yeah. as always, our famous catchphrase, John, to end the episode. Drink responsibly unless you're bored. Bye! 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 <laughs>